I see that yet another cult has posted 10 questions for atheists. You would think the same questions being answered over and over again, many hundreds of thousands of times. One would think, you know, maybe 50,000 would have been enough, but no. Oh, the link to this cult's article, if you can call it that, is in my crotch. For any worldview to be taken seriously, there are a number of questions it needs to be able to answer. I added the two because their grammar is incorrect. Atheism is, atheism is no excuse. Atheism is the default. It is not a worldview. Um, reality is not a worldview. It's the null hypothesis. Um, some of you might brush this off with jokes instead. Holy f they know me really well, don't they? And we've never even met. So, uh, I'm going to get skip to the questions instead of the moralizing and the assertions made in the, you know, so. Question number one. How do you know there is no God? Answer is no. How can you be sure? The answer is no. To know there are no black swans, you need to know about every swan that exists. To say there is no such being as God similarly seems to require that you know everything about the universe and beyond. There are black swans. Now then, cultists, step forward and produce black f gods and black and white gods and white gods and, uh, you know, like like harlequin patterns and shit like that. Uh, I can run right out and grab a swan, pluck it of its feathers, dip it in a, you know, like a soy sauce, um, chop the head off first and rip out the guts and then bake it in the oven here. I would never do such a thing. Can I do that with a god? Who the fuck knows? We know the swans exist. We have the evidence. We can go see for ourselves. We can measure them. We can find how much calories uh, are in swans by burning them into charcoal and then do the subtractions and shit like that. Let's do that with a god and then we will know that a god exists. <sighs> Golly. Question two. Where did everything come from? The answer is no. <sighs> I mean, why ask atheists, cultists, time and time and time again? Ask atheists where everything came from. Ah! As if atheists are supposed to know. As if we were born knowing that information. Ah! Ah! Why don't they ask particle physicists? Why don't they ask uh, quantum mechanical physicists, uh, cosmophysicists? We have a very good answer. And by we, I mean uh, quantum mechanic physicists, quantum physicists, um, have a extremely good um, uh, answer on where everything came from. I mean, we, they, can make very precise calculations on what we, what they know must exist, and then they will go out and look for it, and they find it. This means that the the standard models that they are working with are correct. So go ask them. Don't ask the atheist. <sighs> Why is there anything rather than nothing? The answer is no. Where did it? Where, what started it all? The answer is no. How does something come from nothing? No. Who the fuck says it does or did or will, etc.? Choose your tense. Why are things ordered and regularly? The answer is no. The universe is extremely, I mean, extremely mother. I mean, <sighs> mother. Really, mother? I mean, really? 
I'm sorry, where was I? Ordinary and regular. No. The universe is chaotic. Down here on Earth, extreme chaotic. We have a great many chaotic systems interacting with each other. And when chaotic systems do that, some of them make an they reach equilibrium, which gives us the illusion of order and regularity, but smack that even just one of them out of hundreds of chaotic systems interacting, everything goes chaotic again until a new equilibrium is achieved. So the answer to, why are things ordered and regular? The answer is no. Huh. Can such a universe as ours really be, <laughs> there I go again, simply a product of chance? The answer is no. Question three, why are there human beings? Well, you see, cultists, one day your parents got really drunk and then stoned on acid, and after they vomited their guts out on the kitchen floor, they, they like, seized each other and rolled around in the vomit. And the, the mating process, I mean, it was difficult at first because the, the ability to aim was like, you know, oh, wow, man, I can't aim my, my junk. You know where where I wanted to go, but finally, they somehow managed, and somebody ejaculated. Are you satisfied now, cultists? I have explained everything to you, why there are human beings. Can we really be a product of chance? The answer is no. Why are there beings who are conscious, who understand, and who produce scientific discoveries and explanations? The answer is evolution. What makes us special? The answer is no. Or are we really no different from animals? If we are not different from, I don't know, pick an animal, then we are that animal. Ah! I'm sorry. Ah. What is the point of life is question four. The answer is no. What is a person? It's question five. The answer is... What? Question number six. Why was Hitler wrong? I mean, cultists love to answer or ask that question of atheists, as if atheists are supposed to, oh, well, let me give you 50 hours of my time and I will explain why what Hitler did was a really, really bad thing. And he shouldn't have done that. He should have been spanked and put into his room without supper. And he was very naughty. As for why Hitler was wrong, I'm going to say, nah, he wasn't. No, 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 no. Because I want to agree with the Lutherans, uh, you know, without the Lutherans, Hitler would have been nothing. Without Christianity, Hitler would have been nothing. He would have absolutely no political power at all. Um, I mean, if you want to understand why Hitler ordered what he did and, and achieved what he did, Read Martin Luther's book, on, uh, titled, I believe, On the Jews. You will see, everything Martin Luther said to do, Hitler did. And they were both Christians, by the way. Question number seven, why are you scared of death? The answer is no. What happens when you die? You rot. Is death the end? No. We will continue to decompose until the sun swallows the earth, upon which time our uh, what remaining mon molecules that were once ours, I mean, yeah, molecules, are reduced back to atoms. Then I guess that would mean the end of death. Why does it matter? The answer is no. Why are you scared? Why are you scared? The answer is no. Personally, I look forward to death. I'm going, when, when she shows up, I'm going to squeeze her and welcome her and say, what the fuck took you so fucking long? Why the fuck are we supposed to be afraid of death? That makes no fucking... Who the fuck cares if one is dead or not? Ugh. If you have lived a decent life and you have lived your life and not somebody else's, what the fuck is... Death has no power over you, or one. <sighs> Question number eight. Why do people need to believe in God? 
I assume he means, or she means, or they mean, gods, plural. I mean, there's a shitload of gods out there. The answer is emotional security and to satisfy the out-group versus the in-group need to belong. That is why the gods, these people think that the gods are real. That is why. That is the correct answer. Why are there so few atheists? No. How could humans come up with such an idea? Recently I read about vampires running around New York City late at night and they were fucking each other, they were biting other people and they, the, their victims would turn into vampires and their progeny would run around fucking people and, and biting people. And Where did that idea come from? Does that mean that vampires exist? It must be. Where the fuck else could the idea of vampires come from? Question 10. Who is, current tense, Jesus? I assume they mean Jesus, or actually, Isus is the actual name of this, this god. Um, who is Jesus? The answer is, who gives the bloody, bloody fuck? How does it possibly matter who Jesus was? I don't fucking get it. Nobody cares. It has absolutely no relevance here on planet Earth in the modern day. I mean, the teachings attributed to Jesus predate him by several hundred years. I mean, Confucius and his f noted followers that everything that Jesus did, you know, such as Jesus taught communism, by the way, and to give every, everything personal that you have goes to the group, and that you get rid of all of your wealth, um, even your jacket if somebody asks for it, and you get a begging bowl, and you beg for a living, and you don't obey the politicians, you don't the clergy, you ignore them. Uh, when you worship or pray, you do that privately, never where anybody else can see you, except maybe meditating. All of this predates what is the Bible says Jesus taught. So nothing special. Nobody gives a shit. I mean, we have all moved on now. Um, if you want actual um, philosophy, that actually teaches something, and in the Bible, Jesus, he, it says he only did the tiny, I mean, mentioned just a tiny part of what was actually taught at the time in Far Orient. Um, that was taught uh, many hundreds of years before Jesus is said to exist in the Far East. So, if you want to have what Jesus is said to have taught, expanded upon, get it from the sources. And fuck Jesus. I mean, who gives a shit who he is? Anyhow, why do cultists keep asking the same questions over and over and over again? I shall note, imparting, that the website has no space at all for the answers. We can't Tell them the answers. It's almost as if, as if they don't want to know the answers. 